Hi, this is Shan Siever. Today we are starting a brand new unit dealing with rational expressions. And to start off with that, we are going to look at simplifying rational expressions. So on our agenda, we're going to start with reviewing simplifying fractions. And then we're going to simplify monomial rational expressions and then polynomial rational expressions. So the first one I want to look at is this fraction, 33 over 303. And to simplify that, we always try to break it down into its factors so that we can um, actually simplify out the fraction. So if I take 33 and I make it into its factor tree, I know 33 goes, can be broken up into 3 and 11. And I can do the same thing with 303. 3 goes into 303 101 times. Okay? And there is, 101 is a prime number, so there's not really anything else we can do with that one. So let's take that, and now let's write, rewrite our fraction on here as 3 times 11 and 3 times 101. I can now simplify this fraction by canceling out the factors that are similar. So what I have left is 11 over 101. And that is my simplified fraction. Rational expressions. <clears throat> on this one, we can also break it down into its factors. On, but if you'll notice that the bottom has a coefficient of 1, basically. So it's already broken down as far as it can go. And we'll just leave 34 alone, being that we're dealing with the number 1 on the bottom. However, if you look at the top, I can rewrite this as 34x times x. In the bottom, I can write out as x times x times x times x times x. And now, because of that, I can cancel out this x and this x. So what I'm left with is 34 over x to the third. You can also remember your rules of um, exponents. You could say that this is the same thing as saying 34x to the second. And remember, when you're dividing an exponent with the same base, you're going to take the exponents and subtract them. So it's going to be 2 to the minus 5, okay? So this will be 34x <coughs> to the negative 3. And we never want to leave an exponent as a negative 3. So this will be the same thing as saying 34x to the third. And you get the same answer there. And you may want to get used to doing it this way because writing out all the factors with these, some, these monomials can be kind of a pain after a while but you're welcome to go ahead and write them out as it is here. So let's look at ne uh, negative 3x squared y to the 6th and 618x to the 5th y to the 1st. Now, I have a feeling that 3 goes into 61, uh, 618. So let's try that. Let's break down 618 and see if 3 goes into it. 3 goes into 6, 2, b 206. Okay, so I'm going to just write it like that. So it'll be negative 3x squared y to the 6 over 3 times 206x to the 5th y to the 1st. Well, 3 goes into both, so I'm going to cancel the 3, but I still have that negative on top. So now I have negative x squared y to the 6th over 206x to the 5th y to the 1st. Now I can break it down like I did on the top part over on the left side, or I can subtract um, my exponents. So I could say um, this, and then y to the 6, so that makes 6 y's, and then I have 206 x to the 5th. So I can cancel out two x's, and I can cancel out one y. So I'm left with negative y to the fifth on the top, and 206x to the third on the bottom. The last section that we want to look at is simplifying polynomial rational expressions. <clears throat> In this, you're going to have to go back and think about how to factor polynomials in order to solve this. So our very first step on this is to factor both the top and the bottom. So y squared minus 9 is the same thing as saying uh, y plus 3 
and y minus 3. If you remember, this is the same as a perfect square binomial, and so because of that, we can uh, take the difference of the squares. So here we have that. Now, the y squared minus 6y plus 9, oops, this is a plus, we can use our box to factor this one. So y squared goes here, 9 goes here. y squared times 9 is 9y squared, and then that breaks into either we can say uh, 3y, 3y, or we can say 9y and 1y. This one adds up to 6, this one adds up to 10, so we want this one right here because that is our middle term. So this will be 3y here. And now if we can factor out our uh, common factors in both the rows and the columns, we have a y and a 3. We have a y and a 3 here. So our factored form of this is y plus 3, y plus 3. So let's rewrite our original uh, rational expression. We have y plus 3, y minus 3 over y plus 3 and y plus 3. So now, because I have it factored like this, notice that I have a binomial that's the same on both of them. And I can cancel those out. So I am left with y minus 3 over y plus 3. Now before we go any further, I know that some of you will be very, very tempted to go and cancel this, like that. You are not allowed to do that because in, when you're um, simplifying a rational expression, it's all or nothing. You can't take part of the polynomial and cancel it. It has to be all of the polynomial. So if you notice this, this is a polynomial in itself. It's y plus 3 and y plus 3, so I could cancel that. But you are not allowed to go back and just cancel this. And that's a big temptation of many, many people. Don't do it. Okay? So now, we're going to look at the second one over here. And I'm going to erase this so I can have some room to work. <clears throat> Once again, we need to come up with our uh, factors. So I'm going to take the top one and put it into a box. I have x squared and negative 20. So that makes it negative 20x squared. So let's come up with our factors of negative 20 that would add up to be a negative 1. So I could say negative 5x and a 4x. And guess what? We already have it because if you add these together, you get a negative 1x. So negative 5x, 4x. Here I have x and a 4. Here I have x and a negative 5. So my factored form of this one, and I'm going to go ahead and put my final factor formed on here is x plus 4 and x minus 5. Now let's do the second one, the bottom, the denominator. I have x squared and 12, so this makes 12x squared. So now let's factor this out. We can have a 2 and a 6. And that adds up to be 8x, and we even want a 7x, so that doesn't work. 3 and 4, however, work. So, let's put those in here. 3x, 4x. I have an x and a 4, an x and a 3. So my factor forms on the bottom are x plus 4 and x plus 3. And now I can cancel these two. So my final simplified form of this is x minus 5 over x plus 3. Now I want you to take some time to try this, pause the video, and then come back and check your work. Okay, so after you factor each the top, the numerator and the denominator, you notice that you can uh, cancel out a 2 here, you can cancel out an x, and an x plus 4, and notice that there's nothing left on the top. So that means I can leave a 1. And then what is left on the bottom is a 2 and an x minus 3. Hopefully that is what you got. And if you have any questions, bring them to class tomorrow.